Hi, my name is Justin Adio, and I've been here on and off since the first day it started. I live on Long Island, so I have to commute back and forth. Um, I'm a veteran of the anti-globalization movement a decade ago, Seattle, D.C., uh, and that's the reason I'm here mainly, because I've been waiting a decade for another resistance movement uh, to, to arise. And what I think is best about this 99% is that it's the idea of drawing together the majority of the population. But to me, that means not just white middle class people. That means everybody. The underclass, uh, people of color, women, everyone who's excluded. And not just in this country, but abroad, in other countries too, all over the world. We gotta, we gotta see this as more than just, uh, well, you know, more than just, oh, we need new jobs. We gotta see this in the sense we need an entire new system. I'm not just anti-corporate, I'm anti-capitalist. I, I believe it's an inhuman system of wage laboring. And uh, hopefully, I, I hope it will evolve into that. And ultimately, I hope that there will be a national assembly in which all the assemblies will come together and create an independent political force to represent the 99%. And that's why I'm here, and I'm hoping it does that. Uh, there's elements that I like about it, uh, that there's no end in sight to it. There's elements that I'm not so crazy about. Uh, it still has yet to get a really uh, strong structure together. And uh, I know people will say I'm divisive by saying this, but I absolutely loathe the Ron Paul aspect of it. As I said, I'm an anti-capitalist, not, you know, an anti-corporate person. And uh, I just uh, I just want people to understand that, that I, I've seen what happens to resistance movements in this country. Uh, right now, I think a lot of people are young. They don't know the, the lengths that the establishment will go to to try to stop this. I mean, right now, we're lucky. Other, other places across the country, other assemblies, they're getting kicked out because they're in public parks. This is a private park, privately owned. The plutocrat who owns this park probably doesn't care because he probably owns all the stuff up and down here, and he's making money. But sooner or later, the city's not going to go for it. They're going to put pressure on him. And then, you know, the cops will say, don't leave. And if no one wants to leave, then you're going to see pepper spray, maybe tear gas. But I don't know if people are ready for that, and I just hope they are. And ultimately, I hope we eventually, I hope we eventually do occupy Wall Street. I hope we get enough people that we can go down there and that we can, we can en masse, maybe a hundred people could go in first to get arrested. And then while that's going on, a couple of thousand other go in, go down and link arms. Because the only way, and the only way to change things is to disrupt business as usual. That's the only way the 99% will be taken seriously. Disrupt business as usual. Thank you. Thank you.